Hello everyone and welcome to the Not So Premier League. My name is Nick Harris and we are throwing steel tip darts. Uh, we are playing 501, single in, double out. Our format is we are running a regular season and we are playing best of eight uh, legs which will allow for ties. So if you win five legs you win the match and you win two points towards your score. Uh, in the standings and if you obviously are the opposition and that happens you've not earned any points um, and if both players tie at four legs apiece that is worth one point apiece. So we will show you 11 players competing throughout the course of the season and the playoffs. So turn it up to 11 Spinal Tap fans. Uh, the regular season will last eight weeks. It will be multiple matches per week uh, after which there will be a seeded ranked playoff system which we'll get into down the line. Um, and then we'll crown a 2020 not so Premier League champion. Very exciting. Um, the players this year, let's meet the players. We have 11, as I mentioned. We start on the upper left with James Henninger, our three time Minnesota State champ. Um, and then followed to the right of him by myself. Sorry for the Carl Spackler moment. Uh, I've won a 501 singles in 2016. I've Lost more than I've won, one more than I've lost, I don't care. Uh, my teammate, Jake Portinga, this year's Minnesota State runner-up, following to James Henninger. Um, and he's also a 2019 three-time bull shooter winner. Uh, Ray Morgan is next in our lineup. He's the runner-up in 2019 at Dart Mania in both the Masters and the 501 singles events. Very strong performance. Um, just next to him is David Lawrence, the 2001 former Minnesota State champion in steel tip as well as he has won an Aberdeen Open and uh, he was the runner-up in our first run through the Not So Premier League back in 2018. Falling once again to Carl Spackler, <coughs> I mean me. Uh, Dustin Jensen is next in the lineup. He's a high-scoring machine and he's my co-founder of this league. Um, and he's coming on strong. He's got a lot of runners-up trophies that are really impressive and it's just going to be a matter of time before he cracks through. Um, he's a runner-up in Minnesota State Singles. He's a runner-up in Dart Mania. Uh, and he's also, along with myself, uh, on this list, gotten a top 16 in a PDC qualifier in Las Vegas back in 2018. Now we move down to row two, and we have Ken Rip, 2019 Dart Mania Singles 501 champ, and it was also a 2019 Pro Doubles winner at the Bullshooter event. Uh, to the right of him is Zach Koska, that's this year's state doubles winner, uh, paired up with James Henninger, by the way, uh, on the top row. And he also finished fourth in the 501 singles, which normally we wouldn't call it a fourth, but it was notable because he was shoved to the side by Jake Portinga um, in a final leg decider when Jake nailed a 170 finish to push Zach out. Really a fun match. Um, anyway, so moving on. Next we have David Pickett, this uh, last year's state doubles runner-up winner. Um, and then to his right is Tom Stanton. He's the 2019 state doubles champion, as well as the 2019 singles runner-up at state. And then last but certainly not least on this list is Jake Schreiber, who's uh, got a top four in Chicago bull shooter to his name. He's won the Minnesota Bull Shooter Pro Singles event, and he, uh, in steel, has been a Minnesota state runner-up. So out of this 11, Everybody's played some matches today. We don't have the bandwidth to show all of them. We are going to highlight today, though, the tasty matchup of the week, which is Ray Morgan up against Ken Rip. This should be a lot of fun, so without further ado, let's just jump right into that, and we have the feed coming on now. So, sorry about the ugly guy in the top yes, middle there. I can hear Ray and Ken warming up. Course, Looks like they're about to go into the cork to determine who will start. We do this PDC style. So each player will right, show with the ball. I think we're good. Ready to shoot for bowl? Yeah, we can do that. That's Ray there saying he's ready to shoot for bowl. Ray on the left we'll and here. on the right. So. I think so. Once you start the game, we'll be good. 25. So Ray is in the outer ring of the bowl. Ken lines it up. 30. He's in there nice with shot. a straight Thanks. bullseye. So 
Ken will start the match. Okay, not the last time. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear me. They got it set up good. Now yeah, we're good. Do well, bud. All right, you will okay. get. All right, some pleasantries all the way around. Politeness is the hallmark of most darts matches that we come to know up here in the upper Midwest. We're all in it to win it, but we like to have fun and be friendly too. 100. And Ken starts things off properly with straight away with a ton. Sixty. Oh, I thought Ray might have gotten a ton there. He's in with a sixty. So Ken now looking to press his advantage or forty point lead after the first trips to the board under their belts. One forty. All right. Mr. Rip puts in a one forty. All right, and Ray gets his first big treble of the match and finds a slightly better than average score than 85. Not quite pressuring Ken at this stage, you would have to say, with nearly 100 points between the players. 44. Ken did not like the lie up top after he slid into the fives to the left, so he went downstairs with a fat 19. Let's see if Ray can take advantage of that. 100. And he does. He does. 100 on the board for Ray, his first ton of the match. See what Ken has in reply as he sees Ray in the same zip code as him for the first time in this match. 100. Oh, and he puts the pressure right back right on the 100. Yeah, right? right. <laughs> Ken and Ray highlighting my point earlier about the friendliness of darters wanting to do fist bumps. That's a tradition after each uh, score by your opponent. Ray pops in with a 60 of his own, and now we see Ken on a 117, a very makeable one treble required finish for a player at Ken's caliber. And he goes right at the 17s first to clean that up, and he'll go, oh, he does hit the triple. He's got a shot at tops. Oh. Good luck. Yeah, it was at 97. Drops it a little low for the 97. No. So he'll come back though. Ray is on 196 and still not down low enough to threaten with a finish. Oh, 22. That won't be what Ray wanted. So now no pressure on Ken as he steps up to the board to try to take out this double 10 for leg number one. Outside. Nine and two. He nice got shot. So, a 17 dart hold of throw for Ken Rip. <coughs> Popped in three single treble visits on that one, as well as one double treble visit with a 140. Now, Ray will have the alternating start in leg two. Trailing by a leg, he'll want to make up some ground quickly. And he comes in nicely with an 85. Let's see what Ken can do against the throw of Ray here in leg number two. Forty-three. Ken hits a 43. He looks like he was on level with the triple 20 on that third dart, but just a little to the right and got into that triple one. Ray looks in here. One. He is in. That's a hundred. That's his second ton of the match. What is Ken going to have now? Two straight treble, big treble visits from Ray to start with an 85 and a 100. And Ken's response? 45. He's a 45. He'll be back. He's not going to do that for too much longer. Here comes Ray trying to press his advantage, hold his throw. 100. 100. Yeah. He's 85. Yeah. He's ton. He's ton. I think, I think Ray is on. I think first leg was jitters, maybe. Who knows? But Ray is on. What does Ken have in reply? 60. He's in with a 60. Now, Ken is up at 216 right now. He'll want to set this up and leave himself something handy for this time to the board after this visit. 140. Oh, he does it nice, perfectly. Yeah. The 140 nice. leaves himself 76 after just 12 darts thrown. That's very respectable. 
and uh, Ken has it all to do. Uh, he needs Buck 80s galore to try to even put pressure on 60. Ray in this leg. Now Ray steps up with 76 left. A simple two-darter if he's able to hit the treble on his first one. I'm not sure he did. I can't tell. He 56. did not, but he did set it up well with a 56. He had one shot at the double 20 there at the finish. Missed it low, so he'll come back at looking at double 10 his next turn around. And all Ken can do is try to pile some pressure on if he can. 140. And he does. Nice he does. Applauded by Ray, who respects the never say die. First start. Of that, but then yeah. steps right up and pounds the double 10 for a 16 darter hold a throw. We are levels, you devils, at one apiece. Moving into leg number three, which is back to Ken to start. Great matches so far. Great match so far. 17 dart hold for Ken, followed by a 16 dart hold for Ray. Quality, quality darts so far here in this match. 58. Oh, not, not sure if I should call that the commentator's curse or not. 58 is not the worst score in the world, but that's definitely not a ton. So he'll want to do better. And what does Ray got? Ray looks like he's on something here. 140. He is. 140. His second 140 of the match so far. We're only in the third leg. Nice way to go about starting to break the opposition's throw. Ken's in, I believe. The one with his first, but could be in the treble with his second. 81. Somewhere in there we got a treble, one, uh, treble 20. So yeah, 81 for Ken. That's a decent recovery off the 58. Yeah. Can Ray consolidate his lead with 60. something respectable? 60 scored, he can. So he scored 200 points after two turns of the board and has a 61 point lead on Ken. So he's effectively stolen the darts from Ken. Ken needs something big here. 60. Only able to muster up a 60. Now Ray is going to want to pile something else in here too. Oh, oh yeah. 180. Nicely done. A maximum from Ray against the throw of Ken Rip when he was already in, in the lead has really put him in a commanding position here in leg number three. 96. Ken does nice come shot. downstairs nicely with his switching to score a 96 to make back some of the difference, but now Ray has effectively got at least six darts from 121 to take this out. Oh, 42. Doesn't sound happy with that, and that's because that third dart was in the fives for a 42, leaving him 79. Like I said, he still has plenty of time. Ken is a fair ways back at 206, and he'll want to put some Oh, he may be on something here. 132. He was on something. His first two were in the treble 20. Did not want to leave himself 26. So that's why he switched to the 18s, but slipped it low into the triple four. So now we have 79 remaining for Ray. Forty-nine. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think he meant that. Obviously, that 49 was a shot at the bull, I believe. Went into the 20, I think, and so now he's left himself double 15 when he returns. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, guy. <laughs> Ken doing a great job keeping the uh, proceedings uh, PG rated. <laughs> Oh, it was a 29. 34. 34 scored. He did leave himself 40, but that wedge miss will have hurt. And now. Jan, first start. Ray is and right then. in on that Oops. soft tipper special, uh, the double 15. Uh, and ha uh, hated out by most, but uh, soft tippers tend to love it. So he is able to break throw with a 16 darter. That's two back to back 16 darters from Ray Morgan, who has really woken up. And now he Water. starts leg number four, leading two to one, and starts off with a ton. That's his fourth ton of the match so far. What can Ken come back with? 
81. 81, a respectable return of serve from Ken. Now Ray, who's just been blistering of late. 100. Keeps it going with another ton. He's down at 301 after six starts thrown here in leg number four with the two to one lead. Ken is hoping that either Ray will cool off or he will heat up. 60. Uh, scores a 60, a solid wedge shot there. Still trailing Ray in this leg. Really needs something to change, otherwise you can't see this going any other way other than Ray's direction. 41. 41 for Ray. His first slip in quite some time. Um, what can Ken do with that? Maybe he can get a treble or two in the triple 20 and put some pressure back on Ray? 100. He did with that third dart. I couldn't tell. It, nice it looked like it could have been a triple one, but it must have been just in the right corner. So that puts them even at 260. 40. Ray sprayed one into the ones and had to move downstairs and only able to get 40. So he's gone 41, he's gone 40. And now Ken has a real chance here. 100. Takes nice pretty shot. good advantage of it and moves himself down to a very high but doable finish of 160. So he's on a finish. Ray is not. Ray needs to get out of the 40s here. He's gone 41. He's gone 40 and... 44. He's gone 44. So a bit of a dry spell for Ray, who had been just on fire moments ago. Um, and now Ken has at least six starts from 160. 60. So he cleans it up respectably. He's down to a makeable two dart finish. And Ray is going to want to get out of the 40s here. 60. He does so. Not as high as he would like, but 60 puts him on a 116, a little bit better pressure. Ken will know he has to take this seriously now. 80. Oh, he just missed it. I couldn't tell that second dart was in. It must have been. So he scores 80, does Ken, and just misses outside the wire on his double 10 shot. Ray is in the ones with his first dart, He's trying to go at a triple 20 to make some headway on that 116. Instead, gets a 26 to leave himself 90. So now Ken has 20 remaining. He'll be on the double 10 here. Looks outside. That's definitely inside if it's not in. 15. And that's a 15. He came inside on darts 2 and 3 to score 15 points, leave himself on 5. And now out of nowhere, Ray might have a chance at stealing this. Oh. 74. Oh, he came so close on that. Double 16 attempt, left himself 16. So this is very, very scrappy. Uh, Ken has got the one out of the way and is going for the double two. Oh, he's inside of it, off to the left a little to the 17s. Oh, after 17 darter opener and two back-to-back -back 16s. Game, second dart. Oh, we yeah. were spoiled for it. Oh, we get a 26 dart hold of throw from Ray Morgan. That won't help the stats very much for either player. But from Ray's point of view, it's still another leg victory. And now he is leading 3-1. to one. Remember, five wins get you the win uh, overall in the match. Uh, and a fourth leg win at least secures a tie, assuming your opponent doesn't come back. So he is now in a commanding 3-1 position as Ken starts off leg number five. 95. Respectable shot. start from Ken. 95 puts, uh, puts him right where he wants to be on his own throw. 100. 100 for Ray is a very nice answer. So both players start off with big treble visits. Uh, here in leg number five of this best of eight in the not so premier league 45 now we have a 45 scored for ken so he wasn't able to follow up the 95 as well as he would have liked let's see if 
Ray can continue his dominance. 24. Oh, I'd say not with that. 24. So kind of lets Ken out of jail on that 45 he had thrown the last time up. See if Ken can make amends on this visit. Eighty-one. All right, he's in with one of those into the big treble twenty. So eighty-one gets him down to two eighty. Has just about a ninety-seven point lead. Oh, Jesus. Forty-three. Ray appealing to the heavens after the forty-three, which was on the heels of a twenty-four. So understandably, he's wondering if maybe he needs to seek intervention from a higher power. Eighty-one. 81 again, back to back 81. So he's finding the treble 20. Uh, he's still a little loose on one of the darts each round, but 81s around will do you pretty well in the not so 59. 59 for Ray. Gets him out of the 20s and 40s. So that will be a bonus for him, but not what he needs to try and threaten Ken in this leg, who is looking very good here. Those look in. What has he got going on here? 171. Oh, a three treble visit. So he was in the treble 20 with both of darts one and two and having left himself close to a finish, opted to clean it up by going down to treble 17. 45. 45 coming back in for Ray and now Ken on double 14. First start. And he pegs it with his first start. So from 199, Ken takes 199 out in four darts, going 171, and then first dart in the double. Outstanding. And a return to form for Ken to make it 3-2 to two in Ray's favor. And now Ray will start leg number six. 16. 60 for Ray, puts him in 441. Ken really needed that to sort of stop the rot as he had lost three straight legs to Ray after having started off with a 17 darter and a victory in leg number one. Ray, 45. Ray had won legs two, legs three, and leg four before Ken came back in leg five with a 16 dart hold of throw. 41. 60 followed by 41 for Ray. So some of the doldrums from the previous legs seem to be sticking to him for the minute. I'm sure he'll turn it around. 58. And Ken, luckily for Ray, has gone 45 followed by 58. So no threat from either player so far. 58. We have another 58. Um, like the originality. Ray following Ken, and, <laughs> and Ken calls him out for it. <laughs> Love to see it. 85. Ken finds a treble 20, but then also finds the 5 wedge, so scores himself an 85, and does move himself into a slight advantage against the throw of Ray here. 39. 39. Ray is going to not want to watch this leg back, is my guess. Let's see what Ken will do off the 313. 60. 60 scored for Ken. Working man's darts. And now Ray back to the board. Oh, decided to give the 19s a try after finding no joy. 45. 45. So not much of a different return, but you can see the thinking there. Something's not working upstairs. Let's try something downstairs. I like it. Ken will maybe have noticed that. It can sometimes give a player confidence when he sees his opponent shifting and shucking and jiving. 125. And it may have done that for Ken, who scores a 125 nice and puts himself down onto a finish. He's on a 128, and he has lots of time, unless Ray really piles some pressure on. That dart looks in, but I can't tell. 60. Nope, it's just a 60. Um, now, Ken does not need to go 
18s first on this if he doesn't want to because there's no need to go for a bull finish so he does not do that goes at the 20s with first start he might have just found a one we'll see uh 41 41 I have to give a shout to whoever's playing depeche mode excellent music choice although um hopefully the sound of the darts hitting the board nine let the YouTube police. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the YouTube <laughs> police, <laughs> we have to call them on Ray after that nine scored and a big scoring turn. <laughs> Ken on 87. Uh, 17 followed by 20. Doesn't uh, need to go at the bull, but did anyway. Left. So what is that? 37? 47. It's a bit of a short move from Ken, but we love the drama. Appreciate the attempt at some good TV or YouTube I guess YouTube all right Jesus 47 and we have a 47 from Ray and now Ken left on tops what's he got for us can't tell if that's a 5 or a 20 but it's definitely low he must have hit a single 20 because he's on the double 10 Third dart. He does hit it on the third dart right. for a 24 dart break of throw. So it's the not so Premier League for a reason. Um, you're going to have the really good darts and you're going to have the questionable pub level darts. And that's maybe what we've got going on here in this leg that just concluded. But with that, the drama is amping up because now we are tied not at all at three apiece as Ken starts leg number 16. seven with a solid wedge hit of 60. Ray has kind of gone off the boil here a little bit. He had been on fire in legs two and three especially. And, Yay, for a triple. Right. <laughs> and even his opponent, you can right. tell there by Ken's reaction, he's applauding. He, he, he knows what it's like. We've all been there. As Ray fires at a 95 against the darts, so looking to put the pressure back on Ken. 60! Ken's in again with another 60. His second consecutive working man dart round of 60. And it looks like Ray... 100! Oh, I thought he was going to get a 60 as well, but he found his trouble with the third dart. So now he's got 95 and 100 for his seventh and eight turns so far of single treble high scoring rounds in the match so really excellent work so far 100. and ken responds in kind with his eighth ton or thereabouts single treble big scoring round of the match 98. oh nice ray, ray's found a little hot streak here he's gone 95 198 to start off against the throw in leg number seven. He's got a 73 point lead minus what Ken does here. 60. 60 scored by Mr. Rip and now Ray sat on 208. We'll want to think carefully here about what he leaves himself. 140. Oh well there's no Thanks, reason sir. to have to think very hard when you're gonna pile in 140s is there? His uh, third two treble visit uh, of 140 or thereabouts of the match so far by my reckoning and really has put uh, some pressure on Ken. 66. Ken hits a 66. He does leave himself an out. That is not an easy out, 155. So now Ray on 68 to steal the darts. He's going to go at tops. 48. Oh, he just came inside on that third dart to steal leg seven and break Ken's throw. Now Ken needs something here. He'd love to take this out, but at a minimum he needs to put some pressure so that Ray has something in the back of his mind when he steps up to take out that 20. Oh. Uh, 109. No, 119. 119. 119 nice for so. Ken Rip. That is excellent. Just, no, that 36 great. remain. So he has really put the pressure on. Also, whoever got the music? I gotta yeah, say, Craftwork? After Depeche Mode? Fantastic. 
Again, I hope the uh, YouTube police do not arrest us. We are not here to play people's music. Uh, we are here to play darts. So, but people like to have music in the background they throw. Ten. Oh, Ray did not sneak it in. That was a chance to break that has gone begging. And now, Ken, 36 left. Double 18 is the shot. First there. And it's in there with a the first dart. So nice shot. A 19 dart hold of throw in a topsy turvy leg that started off with Ray moving through the gears. Four straight high scoring rounds had really put the pressure on Ken. And then a bit of a bobble at the finish for Ray, and Ken was able to ease back in and steal it. So, Ken, against the throw now. Uh oh. Ray really needed a strong start here because. He needs, Ray, I mean, needs to win this leg in order to salvage a tie from the proceedings here in this match. Ken will be looking to break and is off to a great start in his quest to do so with a 121. I'm distracted by the amazingness of hearing craft work in the background. Sorry. 60. Uh, I love it. All right, and we have a 60 from Ray, so he's gone 25, he's gone 60. Uh, Ken started off 121, and he will want to keep that pressure up. Oh, what happened? 83. 83. Nice. So he scored 204 points from his first six starts. That's good return. And Ray will really want to get nice. He does find a third dart. Big pick there, as we say. Uh, coming down to pick off that treble 19. 97 to put him on 319. He's getting closer. Remember, he uh, started this leg, uh, though, so Ken has stolen the darts already. 47. 47 from Ken. So he's at 250 now. He's got a 69-point lead over Ray, who had a 97 last turn. 59. 59 this turn. He... You could hear the slap to the thigh, I'm imagining. That's a frustration because you can feel it. Once you get down around the middle point, you can start to feel things slipping away. I wonder if he's feeling this slip. 60 from Ken. And now Ray. He really needs a big round here. Desperately needs a big round here to remind Ken that he is not going away. 41. Uh-oh. That was not what he would have hoped for. So now, Ken sat on 190. Chance to move into a position to win the match outright with a good turn here. 8, oh sorry, his first dart must have been a triple 20. It's hard to tell sometimes over the stream. So 80 puts him on 110. He is in good position here. Uh, and Ray, all he can do is pile in a big score and hope that the pressure is enough to distract his opponent. Jesus, kid. 49. 49, a bit of a miscue, no. but a fortunate one. As Ken points out, it's a 170 possibility finish for Ray if Ken doesn't take out the 110. 110 is one of those interesting numbers. Everybody has a different route, although I'm going to just guess. Oh, 32 left. Oh. oh. 78? What? I, I thought he was in the ones in the first one. He was in the triple 20 of this first start, so 78. He had a shot at that and missed the 110 out. Ray with a 68. So now Ken requires 32 to win the match. Uh, no, no shot call, so I'm guessing he missed that. Looks like it might be inside. Oh, I got four left. He came inside the 16, inside the top range of the eights, and then inside on the fours for a 28. Left himself four, so out of nowhere, Ray suddenly must be feeling like if he can just get something big here, he can put the pressure on. Ninety-four. Ninety-four. He does put the pressure on. 
as he needed to. So now Ken will be feeling the heat as he steps up to try to hit this double two. Oh, he's definitely inside there. So now he's got to go up to the madhouse. Double one. That looks to be high. Oh, two. oh, he shot a two and left two. He is in the madhouse. And Ray, who was dead to rights, has to do double four. Bus. Oh, no. He did all that work, came back, and busted his first dart. And now Ken on double one. The drama. Looks outside. Secondary. Oh, he hits it. Turn over the camera. He hits it. Nice Double shot. one. So we had it all. It's a five to three oh, win for I think Ken have, and Rip. On your side, you should have an options. They are going to go the through team. all that they need to in order to okay, shut this down. So save match. We will... Yep. Uh, cut away from this and talk about some results now um, so week one results um, just some outstanding darts uh, for everybody uh, so you can look at the results here we're going to talk in a minute about uh, what just happened on the stream but um, it, we, we played two rounds and there are two players each week that get buys because we have an odd number of shots. We have 11 shots instead of uh, 10 or 12 or 14. So um, in the first batch at the top, so um, I played against David Pickett. And we uh, Neither one of us wants to look back at the scores from that one. It was 4-4, nothing too inspiring about that. Um, uh, Zach uh, Koska fell to David Lawrence 5-2. to two. Um, And then Ray Morgan in his other match of the evening. We just saw Ray play Ken. In his other match, he won 5-1 to one over Tom Stanton. Um, and then Dustin Jensen, uh, by the same scoreline, was able to get past Jake Schreiber by a, a score of 5-1. to one. Um, And then rounding out the, the first group of games, Ken Rip fell to Jake Portinga, uh, two to five. Um, and then if we look at the second batch uh, of matches down on the lower portion, uh, James Hinninger uh, won five to three, Battle of State Champions, current uh, in James and former in David. Um, and so James got that one. More on that in a minute. Um, and then Jake Portinga uh, and Dustin Jensen uh, traded uh, streaks of three legs each as they share the spoils 4-4. Four, four. And then David Pickett uh, and Zach Koska also uh, split the spoils. Uh, David, uh, with his two draws, shows himself to be uh, uh, Mr. Quick Draw, I guess, or Quick on the Draw. I don't know. Um, I was able to get past Jake Schreiber in a match I probably didn't deserve um, uh, by winning 5-3. to three. Uh, Jake uh, hit a buck 80 and a 14 darter against me and just shot some all-around great stuff. But sandwiched in there was just enough for me to sneak around him. Um, and then Ken Rip in the match that we just saw um, uh, was uh, able to get past Ray 5-3. to three. Um, It was a fantastic match. Um, Ray had 14 high-scoring rounds. Uh, Ken had 15 high scoring rounds. They each had uh, a hallmark in that sense, uh, in that Ray had a buck 80, uh, Ken had a 171, um, and uh, you know Ray threw two back-to-back -back 16 darters. Uh, Ken threw a 17 darter. It was just incredible and uh, some real roller coaster stuff, especially once you get into sort of the scruffier end of the match. In, uh, in 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 legs six, seven, and eight, quite a roller coaster. Hope you all enjoyed that. So, with those results and uh, understanding how the scoring system works, let's take a look at the standings after week one. Um, reminder: you get two points for a win and one point for a tie. So, in the left-hand column, you can see that nobody was able to get two victories. So, the top of the table is uh, Dustin, Jake, and myself. 
um, with three points each. Um, and the reason for the sequencing is if you look in the column just to the right of that, we do count leg differential as the tiebreaker. So Dustin um, was able to get a draw, but then when he won his match, he won by four clear legs. So he has the greatest leg differential. Anyway, you can see the rest of the standings. You know, special shout to James Henninger and also Tom Stanton, who were this week's players that threw um, only one match and had a bye to contend with. So we will see more of them in the future. And as the other players have their bye weeks, this will all balance out. Um, in terms of, you know, the talking points, we did have some audio, not audio, we had fine audio. We did have some video uh, kerfuffles in capturing all of the other matches. Um, long story short, basically instead of showing the the video side by side, what it did was it, um, it, it clicked over to show the video once it heard a sound um, coming from that person's uh, device. So what that would mean is in a typical turn somebody would throw their first dart, the, if they're lucky the, the the app would switch the video feed and it didn't do that every time so we had a lot of you know people pulling their darts out and the first time we get to see what was in was um, was as they're pulling them out so we'll do our best to put together another highlight reel after this uh, with some of the still shots of some amazing things and you can see some of the talking points here on the screen so James Henninger had a 150 finish man I'm gutted we didn't get that on video cleanly he went double bull with dart one, followed by triple 20, double 20. Uh, he also had a 76 finish in that match. David Lawrence had an 82 finish. We did get most of that. He also had a 63, a 16 yarder, and a couple 17 yarders. Jake Portinga had a 180, uh, one of four that were thrown this evening. He had a 15 yarder, a 17 yarder, finishes of 108, 100, and a quite incredible 125, where he went double bull bull, double bull. Um, I really want to see what we can get out of that one. Um, hopefully we can get at least a still shot of that because that's incredible darts. Dustin had a 17 darter. David Pickett also had a 17 darter and an 87 finish. Uh, that was against me, so I remember that one pretty well. Zach had a 17 darter and a ton finish to pull out the draw against David Pickett, who was poised for victory. Uh, Jake Schreiber had two 180s, one of them against me, and he also against me threw the best round of the night in a 14 dart, uh, just blitzing of me. I was nowhere close. Great darts from Jake. Um, and then I had an 82 finish, was the best I did, and uh, in a 19 darter, which is more, I'm putting that up there to, to poke fun at myself. I need to do better. Ken Rip had those two 17 darters, uh, 171, and as I mentioned during the comms, he finished 199 in four darts. Just unbelievable. Uh, Ray, on the other hand, had three 16 darters tonight, two of them in the match you just saw, uh, as well as a 17 darter, a buck 80 that you saw in the match against Ken, and a 174 that you did not see, but that he threw in his match against Tom Stanton earlier. And then Tom uh, only played the one match, had a buck 40, a 125, a 40 finish, didn't really get a chance at round number two, so we'll see more from him in the future. But that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the recording. I hope you have enjoyed the Not So Premier League. We look forward to seeing you all in the future in more matches to come and more highlights to come. Stay safe everyone and be well.